Welcome to another video on the circle equations playlist and in this one we're going to try a very important question from the SAT. You can see this is from 2018 May US QS and I highly encourage you to pause the video and try this one on your own. Assuming you've given it a go, let's start to read it. In the XY plane, the points 2 comma 4 and minus 2 comma minus 4 are the endpoints of the diameter of a circle. Which of the following is an equation of the circle? So let's just remind ourselves what we need to write down the equation of a circle. And what is the equation of a circle? So the equation of a circle, or at least the standard form of the equation of a circle, is x minus h whole squared plus y minus h whole squared equals to r squared where r is the radius and h actually this is a k sorry so h comma k is the center so the two things we need to write down the equation are the center and the radius so how do we get to the center and radius from the endpoints of the diameter well if you allow me to draw a small circle here so this is the center. So we're given the endpoints of the diameter. So let's say one of them is here and the other is here. So this is 2 comma 4 and this is minus 2 comma negative 4. This is not to scale or anything. But just to give you an idea, to find the, the center, we need to take the midpoint of these two points because it is exactly in between both of them. And to do that, we just let me show you how to take the midpoint. So a midpoint is just the average of the two coordinates. So I'm going to take the two x coordinates. Let me write that down actually. x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. It's just the average and this is something you can do inside your head. So 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 divided by 2 is just going to be a 0. Same, so 4 uh, plus a negative 4 is also going to be a 0. And, and once again, 0 divided by 0 is 0. So our center is 0, comma 0. And now for the radius. How do you get to the radius? So now we also know this point, which is 0, comma 0. And so the radius would just be the distance between the center and a point on the circle. So we can use either of these two points and the distance formula to find out the distance between these two points or, or these two for that matter. So I'm going to choose this one. Let me find out the distance. So the distance formula says that the distance between two points or two coordinates is the square of the difference in the x-coordinates plus the square of the difference between the y-coordinates and all of that whole squared, square root, the square root of all of that. Okay? And so this is going to be 2 minus a 0 whole squared plus a 4 minus a 0 whole squared and the square root of all of that. This is going to be 2 squared is a 4, plus a 4 squared is a 16, and the square root of that would be the square root of 20. And so in the equation, obviously, we have an r squared. So when you take the square root of r squared, it's going to be a 20. And for the equation, so if I'm going to write down the equation, it's x minus an h, which is a 0, so it's just going to be x squared because x minus 0 is just x, x itself plus a y squared because y minus 0 is also just a y, y and you square that and all of that is equal to the square of the square root of 20 which is 20 and so the correct answer is d and all of this could have been done inside your head just as I told you you can easily take the midpoint and once you're, you're there you can actually just write down the midpoint so it becomes easier to calculate uh, the distance between them. 
if you want to. You, if you want, you can actually do that as well in your head. So that's about it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.